Hello everyone and welcome to my um, to my little studio exhibition. I decided to film it myself and just walk around and show you a few things. I've mostly covered um, these two walls here. So I'll just show you some some things. It's just started pouring outside so it um, might get a little bit noisy. But there's a very fine hound here. He's not for sale. Up here, these, these two pieces I painted up at my dad's place just after the black summer fires of some of the bits and pieces that I, um, I pulled out of his burnt out shed out of the rubble and things. These were some of his, um, his father's tools, so my grandfather's tools, and these were little tins and bits and pieces, old um, willow crockery. These are also painted on Dad's property down at the Genoa River. So you, I love the detail in some of these. Um, the paint behaved quite strangely on this particular paper, but I love them. I've got a painting here of some leaves that I plucked off various indoor plants um, in our house. And so that's just a pretty, um, a pretty green piece if you wanted something pretty and green. If you're not so good at keeping um, indoor plants alive, here's one that will stay alive. Up here, these are two pieces that I painted and drew. Some of them are uh, ink. I've got some um, of the some felt tip pen in here as well. These are on this beautiful thick uh, pure cotton paper. I really like both of these. What have we got down here? This piece has a copper, if I go um, to show you the copper, copper leaf. So this is a magnolia seed pod with some nice shadow work. Down here we've got a little old Oxford bottle. It does say Oxford here. Um, th this is gouache, not watercolour got a little bit of watercolour in it but gouache is slightly different to watercolour in that watercolour you can see through and gouache you can't. I'll show you in a sec. Uh, these are some eucalyptus blossoms. This is a painting I did of some wildflowers while we were in WA. I'm crawling along. Hey Bruce, do you want to be in this? Do you want to be in this film? He wants dinner. Um, Here's some wild grasses that I also did when we were in Western Australia. So these were both um, from our road trip. This uh, pea piece and this wild geranium piece. I crushed up the plant that I was actually painting. And these are parts of the crushed up plant. So they've, they are changing over time. I don't know what they'll do in the long run, but they look pretty nice. I really like the detail in this one. That is also on that beautiful pure cotton. It's really thick uh, cotton paper called Cardi, which I like. Here's a, a another gouache um, piece. It's a terrarium. Get you into that little terrarium. I like these ones. This is um these bottles we actually dug up in our garden. This one's like a triangular bottle, old like beer bottle. This one um, is an old Melbourne, um, what's it say? This bottle must not be used as a food container. I was growing some Hoya cuttings in it, so I painted that. Um, here's some flowers from our garden. That's a watercolour. I love painting flowers. and So this is obviously like a summer, summery spring. There's uh, Buddleia, Echinacea, Persicaria. I love this lime green geranium. Um, that's a looks like a sanga, uh, yeah, sangasorba. No, what's the? Oh, it doesn't matter. But agastache. That doesn't matter. But I wanted to remember it. This is an Oxford bottle that I drew with my eyes closed, and then painted it in. So it's like one of my portraits that I've done. That's a bit wonky, but I really like how it's. Um, how it's come out uh, with its roots and things, just some cuttings that I was growing in that bottle. 
This is a gouache piece and that's pretty classic gouache that it, unlike the watercolour that you can, that's transparent, uh, the layers, mm, that doesn't really show it, but yeah, the layers of watercolour are clear, you build up gouache um, as an opaque layer. So that's just a nice little garden, summer garden, one from our garden here I painted. Up here are some, I don't know if any of you know about uh, sea hares. They're like a big sea slug and they're, I'll stand back a bit, they're very, very mushy and big and I love them. And so people who love sea hares and nudibranchs might like that one. Here's some meddlers, just some fruit from um, Dad's orchard that I painted when I was at his place. Um, they're really old-fashioned fruit, a little bit like a quince, a bit gritty and mm, apple-y, quincey. Um, this is just a pretty little watercolour of a zygo cactus. I'm trying not to create shadows from my light. I don't know what I'm doing. This is the one that I posted the other day on Instagram and had the most amazing feedback from everyone. So, yeah, I do have this piece for sale if anyone else doesn't know what they're doing and wants to celebrate such things. Um, yeah. Anyway. A little uh, rainbow lorikeet that I painted. Um, and here's some axolotls. I really like this axolotl piece with their pebbles and things underneath them so that's just a nice Mexican walking fish piece here's a little eastern barred bandicoot that I found in my print drawers color palette that I don't often use but it's a sweet little painting I'll go down to here's a gouache piece so this is a drawing a painting I did of some ceramic pieces that I made. I just love these guys together, all about fungi and these are gouache and watercolour. So um, from different angles you can see this is ink behind, uh, you can't really see it at the moment but yeah it's like you can kind of see it's a little bit textured or something. And here's another one, um, just this nice stack of fungi. So I just like the look of those ones all together. A goldfish, once again, if you have trouble keeping your uh, indoor plants alive or your goldfish alive, here's one that won't die. That's just a, um, yeah, a watercolour with a background, which is unlike me. Then I've got some lovely little slugs and snails. If you live in the Dandenong Ranges or the Yarra Valley, we actually have these in the garden. They're really small. This is the invasive one that people in the Yarra Valley and the Dandenong Ranges probably dislike, the big black slugs, but I still like them. This is Reginald, a lovely big budgie. I painted this from a beautiful bird book by Layla Jeffer, Jeff, Jeffries or someone, Layla or Lila, Layla. She's the amazing bird photographer. I'm sure you'll know who I'm talking about. There's a great uh, program on ABC about her showing her work overseas. So that is a painting off one of her photos. Um, these are just some sweet little sketches that I did of mossy. Uh, these are like drosera, um, the sundews and things. I was just playing with outfits for... Um, outfits for slugs and combining lichen and things with them. This duck is kind of a cross between Gloria and Butter Duck. I'm not, yeah, it's not either of them, but it's still a lovely duck. And here's the little original of these um, fungi that I made fabric print out of recently. That's the original ink and watercolour. This wall we've got up here is a pretty detailed piece uh, that I painted at uh, at the beach, of bi different bits and pieces I found. Uh, this is Waratah Bay treasures. Also, quite a bit of detail going on in here of some um, of the different eggshells and yeah, some cowries, uh, shark eggshell. I love these two. Um, that's a sea sponge. I just like how loose these are because I often get a bit like down here, pretty detailed but up here I was able to keep it nice and loose and you know a little bit more abstract 
and here's a coral reef at night time I called this one that's gouache um, on an inky inky background when I was loving snorkeling up at Ningaloo Reef so I'll just step back a bit here this big piece called Cape Patterson would look so good on someone's wall that's a, um, a Portuguese man of war or I know them as blue bottled jellyfish very hurty if you've been stung by one of those and just this amazing piece of, um, of dried up seaweed that had all these other things living on it which blew my mind these are some originals of the of the um, the pumice raft ideas so these are pretty detailed little uh, watercolors I'll come out for that one and here's another one that's called lifeboat which is kind of like a whole lot of different um, marine organisms just hanging on doing their thing without being interfered with by humans this is ladybird with a peony rose and hydrangea but she's this dear little hen see she's got a, a twisted beak she's the sweetest little girl I've still got her she's at mum's house at the moment because mum's got more silkies than I do and she wanted friends so that's a portrait of ladybird when she was sick she was just sitting on my desk one day and so I painted her uh, this is on this beautiful cardi paper as well um, it's a a nice seaweed piece a little coral reef from Ningaloo Reef and this is some rock pool life. I, pa I just took this paper and drew this down at the beach on Phillip Island. Up here, while we're still in the marine world, uh, some gouache on black paper. This is a blue bottle jellyfish. Uh, gosh, it's not a blue bottle jellyfish. It is a blue ringed octopus, uh, which are a pretty amazing little creature. Very deadly. Here's a beautiful giant cuttlefish and there's a watercolour cuttlefish which I really like. Be aware that I've made this one dirty though um, if that offends you <laughs> but yeah I'm a scruff. Um, I love these ones together but they're pretty nice on their own. This is a camping uh, a little camping piece and you'll be able to see that I let some slugs and snails I think it was just slugs crawl on this piece after I painted it so they've I've collaborated with a bit of uh, gastropod for this one here's a beautiful golden Cuban land snail and these are actually a threatened species now because people have been collecting their um their shells this is another one down here yeah, so horrible people have started collecting their their shells and so poachers have gone out and cleared out so many out of the wild over in South America. This is a banana slug. We're not lucky enough to have these in Australia, but I'd love to see one in North America or Canada one day. A hake a banksia leaf that's all kind of nibbled and chewed and got a shadow, which is, oh, you can see my phone shadow. Hang on. And then there's some Tillandsias up here, like air plants. That's a watercolour uh, watercolour painting. Come down. This is this beautiful um, Cardi paper once again um, of a drawing of a sea sponge. And this is like tea, tea stained background that then I work into. And this is a cocoon. So they're just two old, um, older pieces that I found. Then I've got my... <laughs> what oh he needs an itch he's so cute hang on Bruce then I've got these pieces so this one's called we are not alone this is from my exhibition that I had the solo show that was during various lockdowns last year this is um, framed in this beautiful wooden um, wooden frame Michelle Tanner framed this so this one's called we are not alone and then this one is called safe and sound bit of a reflection mm. you can hear preston outside so this is called safe and sound and then this one is called lie down and breathe i love these these three i won't be sad if they don't sell because I might put them on 
our wall. But yeah, if you, I've seen some of these, of the rest of the series in people's houses and they look amazing. So if you wanted a more significant piece of art, then I've got another one here, smaller framed one. So next to my hand, you can see how big that one is. This is called Luminous. I've forgotten the name of this one. It's in my online store. I've got I actually this little axolotl just sold as a surprise just before, so that one's gone. I've got this twin pair and I've got this funny, funny little guy. So these these axolotls can either go on a wall or they can go on a table or something. They're pretty strange. Oh no, there's this one as well. It's currently looking up at the artwork or looking at a house. I've got, these are the last of my huts and houses I have left. I love this one. I was going to keep this one because it's got an egg in its um, roof. But if someone else really wanted it, they can. And so, 16 minutes later, this is the artwork that I have put up on my walls to show you all. Um, yeah. Yeah. And if anyone has any questions or anything, and as I, as people who have subscribed to my mailing list will know that they are, they've been given a code for a 25% discount. The reason I'm collecting people's, uh, making a mailing list is because I don't entirely trust social media and I rely way too heavily on it. And if it suddenly crashed and disappeared or if someone um got into my account I would have no base to go from so I'm just going to I won't drive you mad I promise with um a mailing list but it's just to kind of protect myself and my business a little bit more so from Bruce and I Bruce you say you say goodbye everyone <laughs> he's so cute um yeah and thanks for coming to my exhibition